Hello and welcome to this quick video about how to set up your SpeedyB F405 wing, which is what is hiding away in the middle of this He Wing T2 build that I've been doing recently, with something like legacy Free Sky receivers that need smart port telemetry. Now I set mine up here and I'm using these older legacy receivers that I've got kicking around here in some of my builds just to kind of use them up and that means that I really want the smart port telemetry because I love the Lua script on the radio for things like iNav to give me all the information about the number of satellites and everything else. Now if you watch the channel a lot you'll think that I sit here and everything just falls into my lap from a radio control point of view that the radio control gods love me and that everything I try to do goes off without a hitch but Usually, a video is a result of several weeks of messing about, and then it's just presented in kind of an 8-10 to 10 minute video showing you all the answers. This is one of those rare occasions where I was stuck, and a couple of my subscribers and viewers actually came to the rescue and told me the answer. I'll put time codes down below if you want to skip to the bit where I actually show you what the answer is, but if you want to kind of figure out how this works, then stay here. Now it does say in the documentation on the website that this is something that you can absolutely do and I had tried to follow those instructions. It's very simple. What they're saying is that if you enabled the soft serial ports and enabled telemetry then you should find that you have a soft serial port and then you can set that up to be smart port and away you go using the TX2 pin. However, I tried it here and with version 6.0 that I was using of iNav there was no dice. Those ports did not exist. However, on the video that I just referred to, and again, link you down below if you want to go and have a look a bit more closely at how I've built this out, I had a couple of comments. The first one was this one here from Peter Hancock. Peter very generously spared his time and told me that, yes, it does work, and kind of repeated what was in the manual that unfortunately didn't really help me. However, there's this gentleman here called SPJV01, who not only took the time to explain what the issue was, but also give the magic combination of ingredients to make it work. And the thing that I was missing was that I wasn't using iNav version 6.1.1. So I need to say a massive thank you to SPJV01 for putting the time and effort and actually letting me know that this was the answer. So let me show you how to get SmartPort working with an F405 wing from SpeedyB. So I upgraded my flight controller from iNav 6.0 to 6.11. Uh, what I did was saved a default and a dump from the version 6.0 configuration down onto my computer for reference, then upgraded it to 6.11 as normal, then reapplied the default and checked all the settings. Once 6.11 was on there, then did the same thing again, went in, enabled telemetry, enabled the soft serial stuff, and magically this time the soft serial port appeared. And then it was just a case of setting it to be smart port and then rebooting it and make sure that it was still there after the reboot which it was and then I had to make up the cable to go from the flight controller to the smart port stuff on the receiver. Now there is a cable that comes in the pack with the SpeedyB F405 wing and you need the blue and I also connected the ground pins as well which is just an old habit of mine I like to have continuous grounds everywhere so I removed all the other pins from the cable and then made the other end off into a servo cable and plugged it into the smart port connector. With everything powered back up on the radio, I can now see all of the sensors, so I can use my iNav Lua script in anger. So I love it when these kind of things happen. This is the kind of stuff in the hobby we should be doing more of, helping each other out, not taking pot shots at each other for not liking the same thing that we do. I need to say thank you to both of these individuals for helping me out, but specifically SPJV01 for taking the time and effort to not only explain the general concept, but to specifically talk about the versions of stuff that I needed. Thanks to him, I'm now ready to do my maiden flight with smart port telemetry. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.